starting. This way. Onward, friends. Running in the nineties. She looks silly. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, I guess we're leaving Pack Lover behind. So, I, I'm not sure where I'm at. I'm sorry, it is. Um. So, on the on my back, that uh, the skull, I have that tattooed on my back. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it, it's not not as big, but it's on my shoulder blade. <laughs> nice. It's not the weirdest thing. Where's the key? Where's the fedora key? I want to make my own uh, pirate flag. Oh, so? Do it. Sail the high seas. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. You're gonna fall asleep again. It's gonna <laughs> Are you sure about all that? All over again. Well, Are I mean, given that I'm gonna lose eight times. This is a little closer to where I live. <laughs> The archaeologist all over the world. Ten. Ten. It's happening. Nine. Not be <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's Nine. How long did you mind? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Have fun with this watch over there, guys. My friends. It seems you have met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Trajim. And I am an actualized post narrative deathless wanderer and one of the tour guides of VR travelers we create immersive story based tours with original writing beautiful worlds voice acting and wholesome team effort welcome to the rendezvous now point of contact to narrative domains Unfortunately, Sheen cannot make it tonight, and he sends 10,000 apologies to you all, in his official manner, that is, in the form of 10,000 gummy bears of varying ether flavors, but please do not eat them. Ether bears? Please, send Sheen your warm regards, mentally or textually, either way works. Tonight we will be telling the neutral ending of the scavenger. You are welcome to stream or record tonight's event. My friends, if you are new here, welcome. Please make sure that you are joining other friends. You will need to send an invite request if you want to get back into the world for any reason. You are free to add myself as a friend, or Rendizo, who is, hopefully, standing to my right. It is to your left, sir. So. Now. <laughs> I see. Those in front of me, kindly, stand aside, and I will drop a portal to tonight's narrative instance. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. Halt. My friends, the portal is stable. Wait for me at the entrance. Huzzah!
tumble about. Kind of cringe. I know that doesn't sound well, it's I'm not alive, as effective pa. as a hammer. Uh, I think you're such a Stand well, up, hammer soldier. is effective, we so... Get a war to fight. Oh. I think you're going to fight me from the story. Finger cannon. Shit, man, don't. Uh, let's see. I shit. don't oh, think man, me that the person who jumped yeah. in the yeah. here. Oh. So that's good. Oh, oh well, you're back. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, bye. He learned his lesson. He didn't learn his lesson. He is fucking banished. No, I'm not talking about wishes. Seems I'm talking about someone else. Oh, you can call me altered what I've been drinking, and now I have a shoot. 360 degree rotation. It's a strange feeling. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I can scratch your ears. <laughs> yes, you can indeed. Ah. On my small avatars, also. Okay, so that's Hi. better. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I like how tall I am. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, this is a little bit shorter uh, to what I'm really are. I'm gonna see if I can like how far that size. Oh, no, 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 Back in my my hometown, you know what? I can be kind of soup. The I think last more. year of living there or the year. Hey, yo, before? if you have the coffee uh, one, we can do the duel. Full on, and also let me mention that it was a very uh, conservative town. Never even left, did I? Uh, full on clan members rolled through. Entirely possible. Like one of the last. I'll save you. I unfortunately do not know. Can't be in the air. 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 Can't if you, if yeah, I you know thing, I'm okay, Jay keeps asking for an invite, and I keep accepting his invite, but he's not coming here for some reason. Also, weird. It's, um, probably it's probably Bungie. Yeah, it's uh, uh, BR2. Okay, uh, it's like, yeah. Jay keeps asking for an invite, and I keep accepting his invite, but he's not coming here for some reason. Also, weird. You mean this Jake right here? Jay, Jay Monkey. Oh, Jay. Sail. Yeah, Jay Monkey. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. How many? Tell him skill issue. The best answer. Oh, okay. So the downloads are going to be screwing up. Mine took unusually long to load after it was done. Yeah, I got that same thing. Like the screen was buffering and like. Yeah, who rendered that? Let me tell you. Well, it wasn't black, but it was just the like social media the bar loaded, and then it was like the screen after like 15, 20 seconds. Crazy fuck suicide. Yeah. Just like Gary, if I was a show. Oh, we're almost like he gets paid. We should keep doing squats. <laughs> squats. <laughs> All right. Hello. Keep doing squats. Yeah. I'll do it if you'll do it. I can't believe they won't let the funny frog man. Do you want me to do it? Again. Wait. Let's I cycle. Let, let's cycle. Have cycle. Have That's cycle. new. Should we keep doing squats for a little bit more? He's driving an invisible motorcycle. Let him have his cock out. No. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 no. Oh. I just heard We're that with crazy zero context, no, and I'm immediately concerned. Okay. Crazy oh, I, guess oh. that's no, I would be too, but... I guess that's a no. <laughs> but do not bring farm animals oh, on extra planetary work. Oh, I felt every <laughs> eye on the to me when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I guess wonder that's why. Why. <laughs> why. Why would what prove experimentally <laughs> intriguing <laughs> and valuable data? I don't think it would be... Entirely and 
I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm rambling at this point. Okay. Down to five. We're on a different account. I see you still haven't fixed your original <laughs> avatar. Yeah, the fuck? Avatar yeah, you didn't know about the yeah, avatar. Yeah, the avatar. Yeah, the avatar. Taking forever. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Kind of doing it on and off between doing other things with my life as of late. Okay. I'm on crazy. Like I'm preparing for a trip down to Southern California that's going to be literally less than a week away. Oh, I'm more preparing for that. Oh, wow. Than oh, wow. Than oh, wow. How's Beard Jeff? Are you doing? Wrong. There's also nothing wrong with changing to a new avatar. It's okay. perfect. Fine. There's no shame in it. Hey, so what are you doing? <laughs> you realize he's in that avatar because of a bet you lost, right? What are you doing in SoCal? Um, okay, so I'm going to Disneyland with an old friend from my old hometown. I do. Oh, nice. Yeah, choose your RP when, avatars. When, gonna, when is it? Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, I'm in SoCal. Yeah, do a Literally this coming Friday. Yeah. Oh, uh, I live in SoCal. Are you heading? Here we you go. live there? Yes, yeah, so I live in Orange County. Yes. <laughs> I thought about 30 minutes away from Disneyland. Uh, I don't even want to ask what the context uh, of that one is. Uh, I'll be there with four, my friend and his uh, family, but... Three. I would love to meet up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll talk after the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One. My friends, please begin this story by turning the world music off. Okay. That's first. Curious choice, but okay. Pretty sure it's off now. Close oh, there's a big toggle right here. And yeah, right behind us. Breathe deep the soft ether around you. The story begins. They say the last piece of land flew away silently into the cloud sea 4,000 years ago. Ever since then, people have resorted to living in buildings and airships carried by strange giant creatures called titans. Some look like gigantic fish while others represent mammals or reptiles. One of few bastions of civilization left afloat is called Argentum. It is a glorious trade city carried by the largest remaining titan, Goldmouth. Ever since the last land vanished, Titans have been dying, taking with them any humans who are relying on them. You see, you can tell the state of a Titan by looking at its gills, the glowing stripes on its body. Bright and blue is healthy, but at this rate, at some point in the future, there won't be any titans left. Which means... No more people. Just... White clouds and white sky. And silence. And now, my friends, to our protagonist, please put your world music back on and let its vigor flow through your veins. The scavenger has lived alone in his home on the back of his own titan for 12 years, ever since his father passed away peacefully in his sleep. Since then, his primary company has been this titan, affectionately dubbed Gramps and those he sees at Argentum. The scavenger has a mental link with his titan. It's a common thing to happen between a titan and whoever captains it. They've both grown used to staying out of one another's minds, though, unless they really have to. In case it's not obvious, 
The scavenger makes a living by diving into the dense ether sea and pulling up any scraps he can sell at Argentum's Bazaar. You might be surprised at what builds up below the surface. Well, enough talk, friends. It's time to sell some scrap materials. Let's head over to the bazaar and see what sort of profit we can make. Please, follow me. I have a lot of I did not realize that Avatar had music on it. I thought he was about to jump into the abyss, but then I remembered that was a Such good views. Just white with a bit of blue. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of good views, my friends, look behind you. Look at Gramps. This Gramps is his is face. Amazing. Oh. This is the Titan upon which the scavenger lives. Isn't he handsome? Yes, quite yes. so. <laughs> well, he also looks impatient. Let's be on our way. <laughs> Patience, Gramps. Yeah. Spoilers, rat. Right? No, it's not. <laughs> but I still do. I, don't, I never know. I actually like my eyes. I might need to go investigate. Oh. The scavenger no pauses. Here. You don't need that. Something catches his eye. He notices something unusual. Docked to the east. A black ship. With no titan. Hmm. How is it staying afloat? Hmm. That must mean it's a Torna ship. The scavenger has heard of them. And he doesn't like them. They carry around weapons in the open and like to bully people. He makes a note to steer clear of any Tornans he might see. He doesn't want trouble. Yet. This way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a dare. I didn't get the chance to finish it. He just said, oh, it's hard to make out of Hmm. It's hard to make avatars. You can just say you like death, bro. It's not that difficult. Guys, I must say. I've actually been trying. I just, like, have mm -hmm. very bad luck. Yeah, very bad luck. Mm -hmm. That's what they're all saying. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, what's your name? I can't remember. I'm jerking shades. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Only nap on. <laughs> Only nap on. My friends. I don't have a nap on avatar. In case it's not clear. The scavenger is what you might call a mini-tour. It is shorter, faster paced, and more condensed than our other tours. Therefore, it'll be over a lot sooner. Let's enjoy this while it lasts. And here we are at the Argentum Bazaar. Take a look behind you, the area under those yellow lights. Isn't it beautiful? Coming here is always a buzz for the scavenger. He can't wait to make some trades, and maybe even some coins as profit. My friends, as you may have figured out, I have a quest for you. Within the stalls of the bazaar, please don't go anywhere else, you must locate the following items. A large scroll. An anvil. Necklaces and a place to sit and eat soup. I will give you five minutes to explore and find these items, but no more. I can repeat the list for anyone who needs it. My friends, your time begins now. Oh, it's go, going. Go, go, go. Go. Uh, I need a quick repeat of the list. Oh, I found the anvil. <laughs> We got dry soup store! Necklaces? Here's some good old necklaces. Dry soup. Dry soup. Dry soup. 
And a good place to eat soup. Ah. Eat soup. Large scroll, large scroll. Mm. No, those are rugs. Ah, here's the yeah, it was what he found. Where's the furnace? Is diving gear? Uh, fuck. Where's the... I forgot where the anvil was in here. Well, this is... We're beyond the market. What does the fox say? Oh, so you are. Oh, hey, a place to eat soup! I mean, there's soup right there. Okay, there's the lar there's the anvil. What the fuck? I can find this shit. I forgot. What the? I can't take. Anvils? You want some anvil? I'll get some. Wee! What do we need more? What do we need? The list. To confirm. Oh, where am I getting my? A large scroll. Oh shit. An anvil. There's no time on that thing. And a place to sit and eat Good soup. Morning. Why is my frame rate gone down all of a sudden? Oh, well, there are people here. It's like a hundred megabyte world. Well, you I said all of a sudden. It wasn't a second ago. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there is no I didn't ask. I shall go and quiet. I see. Uh, J Monkey, your key hammering is a little low. Sorry. Oh. Quite alright. Where do you even buy the pizza? Are you using your climbing feet too? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. I love the climbing feet, so. Where do you go? <laughs> you know, because you don't have to play the game. Yeah. You asked you ask me about Among Us. I couldn't get into the combat. The only thing you're going to achieve by that is that I was trying to look for the puzzle wood for a side quest. And I was like, I found it was in this puzzle. It was in this that's what I do. Good game. Good game. I'll give you about 15 minutes. And it turns out it was in Tora's house. I do believe a man yeah, found all items. Fucking I'm sure about the scroll <laughs> part, though, but... Three baton parish. The scrolls are right behind you. The scrolls are right behind you. Yeah. They're right behind you. This is good. Fucking potato. Too late now. Watch your mouth. Hey, yeah. 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 It's an egg. It's egg I'm laying on top of a house of the next business we should do. <laughs> we should <laughs> so that's the we should start, start taking that is undeniably an egg. Uh, I have no idea we what's, actually... what you smoking, but that's oh, like an egg. Oh my god. Even more an egg than Definitely egg. potato. I know, thanks. Uh, it is, it is, it is the fun like Wednesday, <laughs> man. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Let me sit here for alcoholic. No way! I'm gonna sit on you for a while, thanks. What the hell are my hands doing up there? What the hell are people doing up there? I miss it as well! It's so fun! Hello, Penguin Jake. What business do you have with the business people? I should I yes, yeah. this, this map does have a climbing feature, but it's not causing much of a problem. Use it for more not business. That's a choice. You're not a businessman. You don't have the business card, so you're not into it. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to use it. What business would you like to do with the business card? Everyone's immediately started climbing. Yeah, everyone's immediately started climbing. Yeah, it is rather glitchy. We don't recommend using it. Yeah. Wait, my friends, I believe we're all here. <laughs> I ask for your attention. Uh, oh oh. Oh. Right. I like my to go away. Did everybody find <laughs> the items on the list? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then a small test, just to make sure. <laughs> Vonaducci. Can you describe the colors of one of the necklaces you found?
<laughs> Your honesty is so profound that I'm going to say that's a correct answer because I don't know the colors of the necklaces either. <laughs> My friends, I mean, I found them. I don't know the colors. I wasn't paying attention to the colors. <laughs> I know there was probably like a yellow and gold, but. <laughs> the scavenger is done with his perusing of the bazaar. And he's about to head upstairs for a bite to eat. However, something strikes him, not physically, mentally, right in the middle of his mind. A sudden and sharp come back now. It takes all his attention not to be overwhelmed by it. Oh. Then he realizes what it is. Gramps needs help. My friends, quickly, this way. Hey, go, go, go. No, no, Gramps! No, Gramps! Don't Gramps. die on us! Take it for the best of us, everybody. Come no. back. Give him Keep up up I can't Graham, Graham. 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 kills him immediately. Graham. <laughs> Graham. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. It looks fine. It looks exactly wow, as it was. Not bad. Like he missed. <laughs> well, Imagine. Coffee was... <laughs> Imagine thinking we're going Coffee all the way back there. Sure. We gotta pad out the length of the short tour somehow. <laughs> Who says we're padding out length? Pack with you here. We have all the padding we need. Hey. <laughs> the scavenger runs down the pier, and then stops, skids to a halt. Gramps is looking at him. But he's not saying anything. He doesn't need to. The scavenger immediately identifies the problem. Gramps's girls have dulled. He's not well. He's sick. Well, no problem, says the scavenger. They'll have medicine in the bazaar. I'll be right back. My friends, there's a lot of back and forth in this tour, isn't there? Let's go back to the bazaar. <laughs> oh, bazaar. Oh, bazaar. Oh, oh God. It's Fetch Quest Hell. Welcome to Fetch Quest Purgatory, boys. No, no, it's not Fetch Quest Purgatory. Yeah. Fetch Quest Purgatory is finishing all the Final Fantasy XIV quests. All oh, of God. Them. I... <laughs> I've never wanted to do that. <laughs> I never will. Imagine a clean map, though. True. I feel a lot of clickety-clackety in this bazaar. The scavenger hurries to the stall that normally sells such medicines, but he quickly discovers there's nothing left. He checks another, and another, and another. Nothing. He asks every stall owner, and they all give him the same answer. There's no medicine. That's strange. Someone taps his shoulder. He turns. It's another scavenger, a few years older than him. He introduces himself as one of the crew members of the airship docked on the north side of it, Argentum. He says he couldn't help but over here, but he's also been looking for medicine and hasn't been able to find anything at all. He asks the scavenger for a favor, and the scavenger agrees. So the crewman takes him to the North Dock. My friends, the thought plickens. Let's see what the crewman wants. Yes, yes. <laughs> the thought plickens. 
Plicken? I couldn't tell if that's what he said or not because I have auto-corrected yeah, it in my like brain. <laughs> yeah, me too. I said plicken. like, wait, what? Plicken. In a, it's inapplicable right now. Pliskin? 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 Eruki's Pliskin. This is gonna make me want to play the game again. Pliskin, Pliskin, Pliskin. I really want to play the game again. Pliskin, Pliskin. This is our ship, says the crewman. It's not much, but my family has been working on it for decades. We are particularly proud of it. The scavenger is not very impressed. There's something industrial, sterile about it. But at the same time, the idea of the family all working together makes him feel like he's missing something. The crewman nudges him along and leads him up to the top. This way, friends. Don't get lost. No. Uh, mm. Ooh, oh, hey, music change. <laughs> Indeed. What oh, music? I have music, turn the music volume up. I know. <laughs> this is going to be cramped. Mm. Oh. Quick, everyone get oh, going away, I guess. <laughs> no. No. Is it giant hermit dog? Switch it to my Be small. Oh, I know everyone this. Everyone switch to the frog, switch don't do that. The <laughs> old Dynamax avatar that I don't really I'll do it. Either. I've had a lo-fi version of this music and it's like... We can all fit, I'm sure of it. Oh, yep. people can people stand stand on the I totally have <laughs> elbow room right now. Well, <laughs> don't you really? You know, radio? Is that what well, the L in your name so. stands for? Elbow room. A elbow room. It starts with an E. The elbow room. I before E, elbow. except after C. But if you spell elbow with instead of it, a E L, you just say L yeah. and then put the E at the end so the L is, L is silent. Or something like that. Speaking of There's silent, probably a way to spell elbow. Continues. Here we are. Beneath the Titan of the Creeman's ship. He asks the scavenger to take a close look. See if he thinks it's the same sickness with both of their titans. The scavenger looks down. But the other crewmen, the other family members, are all looking up expectantly. The scavenger takes a look as best he can. Hmm. The loss of glow is about the same. And there's that greenish tint as well. The pulses of light? Four seconds. The scavenger says, yes, it does appear to be the same sickness. The crewman looks worried, his face deepening in a frown. If they tell the wrong person, they may end up getting asked to leave Argentum for quarantine reasons. They can't afford that. The scavenger thinks, gazing out across the endless sea of cloud. He has an idea. They can ask the chairman of the bazaar he keeps track of shipments and should know when medicine is coming in next. They just need to avoid mentioning that their titans are unwell. The crewman looks unsure, but agrees, and they both head to the chairman's office. My friends, 
Let's see if you can resist the temptation to jump this way. Nope. Unfortunately, for myself, I, I don't have, have the jump right. button. I'm disappointed. He had that coming. Ah, nerd. He is the L man. Throw him out the board. For one tour, he used to avoid falling off the tallest thing you can find. Nerd. This world is very beautiful, I gotta say. It is quite nice, isn't it? It is. There's just something about I'm just wondering how they got everything from the switch. Yeah. Careful. And Takada Matsuki is, careful, is a sure. renowned... What's the word? Ripper of this game. World Ripper. I bet you'd be good at Beyblade. They certainly did a very good job. Andrew sounds like they're just, just really good at the game. <laughs> Let it that you shall stay behind the desk, Mr. Kurgate. Oh, it's a big desk. That's why I go upstairs. Big desk for a big... For a big man. Let's do it that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yep, well then silicone padding to the armor. Makes not oh, much of a difference. I've been lore. trying to learn Featherfall, dude. Red cunning lore is cringe. Yeah, by creating cratering yourself into the ground every tour. <laughs> I get to see a tour that you don't crater. The scavenger and the crewman wait outside the chairman's door until he's free. And then they step in. The chairman, a busy and abrasive man, looks up at them. The scavenger knows, deep down, he's not as harsh as he looks. He's just a big marshmallow. The scavenger greets him with finger guns and a big grin and butters him up with some small talk and compliments. But the chairman isn't having it. He asks what he wants, and the scavenger inquires about the last shipment that had medicine on it. The chairman <sighs> sighs, takes out his ledger, and starts leafing three pages. After a minute, he pauses and stares down. He says the last shipment never arrived. His expression is... What is that? Is that fear? Before he can ask anything else, the chairman tells them both to leave at once. They turn and look, and standing at the door is the commander of the Black Torna ship. The scavenger and crewman look at one another, thank the chairman for his time, and hurry outside. The crewman thanks the scavenger for his help, and agrees to buy him a meal and room at the inn so they can figure out what to do in the morning. The scavenger cannot say no to free food. The crewman <laughs> hands the scavenger enough coin for both and disappears to do something else. My friends, let's go and have some nom-noms. 
Okay, nom, 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 Sus. 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 Would probably fit in here actually more, like 300 Whoops. something. Oh, wow. Where are we? Uh, uh, I think we were tricked by the by Trajim, or he forgot where he was going. He was just looking to make sure people were paying attention. <laughs> okay, he just so wanted to go back down the stairs again. Table for one, please. <laughs> Play Xenoblade. This is just a nice place. You're right. I think it's allowed in here. I can hear him. Really Why did you all go up those stairs and down again? I was waiting here. Mm. <laughs> of course. Right? Yeah. My friends, here we are at the restaurant of Argentum. I can't read that sign, so yes, that's its name. What table should we sit at? I already got one. Probably the one with the side one. All right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's some delicious salad. Welcome to the cool kids table. Salad. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a menu? So cold. I'm too short Trust for this. Screw the hot table. kids table. <laughs> Jay, get out of my suit. I guess you'll just have to sit on my shoulder like a parrot. I don't want to see pretty assholes. Hello, oh, my off. friends. You know, the story the can continues. The scavenger arrives at the inn alone, as usual. He is greeted by a waiter, accepts a table, and makes his order, which is a uh, salad. He looks about. It's not very busy, but everyone else is eating with someone. He feels a little awkward. And then suddenly remembers. Oh, he told Gramps he would be right back. He opens up a telepathic link and sends him a quick message, like an answering machine. It's a B Whatever that means. Looking for medicine. Staying here tonight. See you in the morning. There's no reply, but that's normal. He begins to eat his uh, delicious salad, and he notices someone is standing at his table. He doesn't look up and continues eating, hoping that they would continue walking, but they just sit down with him. He looks up. Oh, it's just the crewman. But he looks worried. The crewman leans in and says he just heard something. He just heard that the last shipment that had the medicine was destroyed by that Torna vessel. The Torna commander is claiming it was an accident. It showed up as something different on their radar. He's here to sort it out with Argentum's admiral, apparently. The crewman pauses and looks around and says he thinks it was sabotage. The crewman says he wants to sneak onto the Torna vessel before dawn and he wants the scavenger to help. The scavenger isn't sure. What would happen to Gramps if they were caught? But on the other hand, what if the crewman is right? What if Torna stole the whole shipment? Why would they do that? 
The scavenger agrees. Meet me in the bazaar before dawn, the crewman repeats. And he gets up and leaves. Sneaking onto the torn ship sounds thrilling. But the adrenaline eventually slowly wears off. And he feels a food coma from salad coming on. <laughs> he uses the last of his coin to check into a room. This way, friends. <laughs> Number seven. So, so does that sound? I don't know what you're talking about. Just be a thrill to an invade the enemy vessel. You are the king of thrill. You should know. One room for thirty-five, please. Mm, thirty-five. <laughs> Well, I got the couch. <laughs> I got the couch to myself. No one's sponsoring me. Uh, it's like three beds. Okay, I'm used to. Okay, three beds. Okay, I'm used to. 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 Make room, guys. <laughs> the old man is sleepy. <laughs> Come the snooze yeah, man. Especially after falling off yet another uh, high. Oh, oh, shut up. In case anyone needs it, uh, here's a safe point. <laughs> I'll take that. Floppy disk. Yep, safe point. You never know when you make it. Shall be you can't, you can't, you can't click on it, then. <laughs> There's just an animation. Yeah. Clicked on it. Yeah, I made it right as the tour was starting. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, my friends, once issue. more, please kindly turn your world music back down to zero. The scavenger sleeps restlessly, dreams, images flash before his mind. He sees the black outline of the torna vessel lined with silver moonlight. He sees a blue bird with one wing spiraling out of a vast, empty sky. He sees an empty hallway made of steel filled with swirling dust and smoke. He sees a red moon rise over a sea of crimson like a great round eye. He sees a figure burst from a window with an explosion of glass and fire, tumbling into a dark and jagged landscape. He sees the face of Gramps, emotionless, gills, dark, slowly sinking beneath the surface of the cloud sea. The scavenger wakes up to someone banging on his door. He gets up and opens it. The crewman is standing there, with a bag over his shoulder. You would have gotten caught, he says with a wry expression. And he goes on to explain that he managed to get two doses of medicine by himself. That sneaky rascal. He did it without us. How could he do that? Or, oh, actually, perhaps the scavenger slept in. 
The crewman asks the scavenger to help him. Nobody on his ship knows to use knows how to use this particular medicine. The doctor passed away two weeks ago. The scavenger is annoyed that the crewman snuck off without him. But also, he feels honoured. Just as he steps outside his room, he feels a shift, a break, a tear. In that moment, his psychic link with Gramps is shattered, destroyed. Well, that's not good. Mm -mm. Oh dear. My friends, normally at this point, you have a choice to make. However, the night is the neutral ending. The choices would have been do not help the crewman give the medicine to his family's titan and instead go and see what's wrong with Gramps. Or help the titan of the crewman's family first and check on Gramps afterward. Didn't he crash? Okay. No. Okay, good. He didn't crash. Nope. I mean, yeah. step one, two. Just dramatic silence. That's all he's expecting us to give an answer and then say, and and no. Chalada, we are going to go where, where do you want to go? Given like, this is unusual, I'd probably what's, say what's going to help Grant. Yes. Would... The Enchilada has observed your choices. There is no decision to make here, friends. <laughs> We are going <laughs> to check on Gramps. I was right. Oh, that's After all, that's their nice. Titan might be keeping a whole family alive. But Gramps is his family. He won't let him down. He has to be there for him. He takes one of the doses of medicine and leaves the crewman standing there, rushing out of Argentum toward the south dock. This way, friends. Of course, this is the wrong the needs of all outweigh the needs of the individual. Okay, so, well, yes. to remind you what it is, Captain Peter, it's the encephalon. It is encephalon. No, that thing is in the guy. No way. Because it didn't really work. Okay. No, I can't. I can grab Rest this though. Yes. Imagine having a Should the music still be turned? Should the music still be off? Yeah, it should still be off. Uh, you You're the one asking hey. for him all the time. Hey, 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 hey. You're the one that got. <laughs> yeah. I literally almost broke my limbs again. Go for... Almost. You know what? Yeah. Get that empty scavenger. Makes it to the south dock just in time to see the horn of Gramps as it slowly, silently sinks into the cloud sea. The scavenger screams and runs. No, 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 no. He rushes to where he was docked and stares down at the clouds swirling. Gramps! Gramps! 
He can dip his in, but no, he can't. He might be able to bring up some of his things, but he isn't geared for diving. Oh dear. Treasure. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to the script. Not every five seconds. The time is crashing. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh, no. Oh. he's gone. Yeah, he's crashed. No, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. What the hell did you do? There's a billion times per tour where there's a pause that's that long. But this time he's just having a crash. God damn. Yo, he's just making it realistic like Grimms disappeared. Grimms just sang below the whole... Below the cloud scene. That's okay, Jim, apparently. That's Grimms' scene. There he is. He is returned. Oh, wow. Yeah, it must have been a quick crash then. Lisa, what are you doing out there? Are you trying to go with Gramps? Oh, right, you can fly. He might be able to bring up some of his things, but he's not geared up for diving. He drops to his knees and stares over the side. He can't believe this is happening. Did. Gramps really just die? Is he still dreaming? He stares at the clouds, watching, waiting. A noise rattles his bones. The entire deck vibrates. All of our gentlemen creaks and groans. He looks up. Goldmouth, the great titan, is weeping. He sees it, just a quick glimpse. A tear falls from the eye of the great titan, shining blue, and plummets down toward the upper deck. And standing up there is the commander of the Black Torner vessel. The scavenger stands, dusts himself off, and decides it is time for a confrontation. Lock and load, people. Yeah. Here we go. I feel bad for the poor sap that just got splashed on by that tear. <laughs> tear. Give me a quick shower. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people just need a shower salty, in here. Salty showers. Hmm, it'd be a little painful. Back. <laughs> what? Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to vent out our anger on some jerkwads. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I've been seeing you someone say. in their face. Uh, in the like the face. Ha -ha 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 I love to hit video games. Well, let me get prepared for combat then. It's time for an emergency meeting. Yeah. My equipment is totally in the middle just admitted to venting his damn posture. Uh oh. This is totally not going to kill people. Quick, hit the button and no vote him out. Air pirates. Eject him from or get him. Just a few more graves to fill. Let's get it over with. Make him walk the plank. Where would we put graves up here? I don't know. Actually. Probably do sky burials. The, the grave is the body gets tossed into the sky below. They don't even deserve an unmarked grave. 
Oh, See how far you can skip it face. like a rock. Yeah, no one's saying the sky below should okay, sound right. weird, but oddly enough, it sounds fitting. I like here. that idea. Your, so. Can you skip a body on the top of the cloud? Yeah. yeah. That like like skipping so rocks. Like how hard would you have to throw that body? Pretty damn hard. Like a propeller. I feel like there need to be a very It's gonna be hard class. And that's pretty tough. I can only imagine how hard it would be with a body. I can consistently skip seven or eight times. Yeah, but after the stone. Yeah. Yeah, but. Ah, oh, there it's it is. The the area I had my picture. It's looking at like maybe, I don't know, 100 times bigger than a little stone. What if you put them in like a, a, a circular thing? I'll just <laughs> drop it for now. <laughs> I feel the vision. What are you volunteering? And it's disorienting. I don't think you realize who you're talking to, my friend. This is the smile cycle. I don't have phantom pain. Strike me. <laughs> there he is. The commander of the Torna ship. He notices the scavenger who is now joined by the crewman who also ran up here. The commander has two gunmen with him, and in his hands, he's carrying a small box. Even without seeing what's inside, the scavenger can feel some sort of energy. There's a noise behind them. Two of the guards of Argentum rush up to see what's going on. Finally, thinks the scavenger, some help. But before anyone can say anything, the commander gives a single gesture and his gunmen fire at both the guards. The light is hot and bright and there's the sound of material being disintegrated. My friends, there is a single choice here to make. And you only have a moment to decide what to do. Your choices are as follows. For those who think it is best to flee, stand against this wall. For those who would prefer to run away, stand against this wall. Excuse me, that means the here. same thing. <laughs> oh my god, oh, man. That's small. Oh, I think, I think oh, we should be I'm going to bake him. I love it. By the way, it's true. Oh my god. I like the terminology of this. Thing. <laughs> Three, because we're in a fleet of boats. boats. For those who want to advance in the reverse direction, stand out here. Oh fuck, this is. Yes. <laughs> 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 in the reverse direction. <laughs> no. This reminds me about a we question w. I asked before. Okay, lot. advancing. Ether. Was asked <laughs> a question. Very well. What is it? My friends, you've probably figured it out. The encephalon won't allow any deviations from the moment of recording. Therefore, this choice has already been made for you, and the story goes as follows. Darn the enchil the enchilada. No. Yeah, no, these... These gunmen are too strong. Those weapons? They would die instantly. There is no chance. The scavenger suspects foul play. But as it stands, he only has one decision. More Argentum guards run up the scavenger takes this opportunity to turn tail and run. The crewman follows him. Two shots come, but both miss them, and instead rip through some girders, burning through it. My friends, the story concludes somewhere else. Please Ow. follow me. Ow. Advance backwards! <laughs> <laughs> and this tour is hella short. Advance in reverse. <laughs> it is.
It really is. Penny Hill. Advance in the reverse way. We shall advance in the reverse way. I do very much like my platinum chip. Advance in the reverse way. What the fuck? What if I had bacon? Unlimited bacon, but no bacon. I think he was gonna go towards. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> 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 For the conclusion of this story, please turn your world music back on to a comfortable level. The scavenger and the crewman make it to the other ship and stop to catch their breath. They can hear the distant sounds of a shootout, but both of them have decided it's not worth it. They prepare to depart instead. The crewman approaches the scavenger as the rest of his family prepares the vessel. He looks distracted. He asks if the scavenger has anywhere else to go. The scavenger shakes his head. The crewman gestures back to his family. Come with us, he says. There's no point in you staying here. The Tornans have seen us. And we have medicine. The scavenger is overcome with guilt. He chose not to help the crewman with the medicine and instead to check on Gramps. But they still want to have him on board? He agrees, reluctantly. The crewman nods and says, He wants the scavenger to stay with them, join their family. He can scavenge, but he won't be alone anymore. The scavenger. How is he supposed to respond to that? He nods, yes, of course. He would be honored. Now, says the crewman. This place isn't safe anymore. Let's go. The scavenger takes one last look back at Argentum, convincing himself with all his might that he made the right decision. 
He turns his back to the last bastion of civilization for the last time and forward to an uncertain future in an endless sea of cloud. My friends, welcome to the neutral ending of the scavenger. Yes, applaud the enchilada. My friends, we will take a group photo <laughs> soon. But first, some announcements. We are VR travelers. We create immersive, story based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun, and we do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our Discord community and post any photos or comments from today's tour there. The Discord server ID is in my status in VRChat. Or my bio. One of the two, or both. <laughs> Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, new tours coming soon, then please support us on Patreon. It is only $3 a month, and over a whole year, you'll still be paying less than you would for the average game. Joining grants you access to clues to our mysteries, behind-the-scenes feature, and eligibility to play as character roles in some of our stories. My friends, where should we take a group? Photo. After that, Upper deck you'll of... be going back to the rendezvous for the after party. <laughs> By Gramps, perhaps? Mm. Uh, on those long ass. Yes, yes by the I'm court. thinking about sure. a certain set of crates in the uh, up deck okay. uh, of Argent, whatever you call the big city place again. A certain set of crates is very vague. I, I remembered in the know, upper the deck where, where we grass. were just at in the battle. The, the, the crates are they're made of wood, and they're shaped like oh cubes, God. probably. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. My friends. <laughs> the, the up oh, those Let's are take a commemorative photo of okay. us in front of Gramps. Please, everyone. That works. It's quicker to respawn at this point. Oh, okay. Hey. Respawn! Okay. <laughs> Okay, what I meant was like up there, where we had the battle we ran away from. Ah. We can do that I'm when we do the battle. I'm that because that's where the group photo I was in in my previous time here. Be like a nice little flashback. Come on, get involved. And I kind of liked it. Definitely, the next well, time we're in here, the group photo's gotta be where the. Uh, a photographer, we ran please. Away from. Someone who can put their camera down there above the ether. I can do it. Totally. Ether, thank you so much. Please guide us. Give me a moment. I mean, your name is Ether, so. Milk. Um, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, so, I must ask you a question. Uh, if it's about bacon, uh -oh. Uh -oh. the answer is no. Oh, my world keeps getting more tough and more tough. Oh. Ethan just freaking died. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a uh oh. Ethan's on the what? Uh, we're gonna have a lot of crowding. What does that mean? Where is our photographer? All the way over there. Apparently, he's doing an angle photo. Sure. 
Let's go a little more along this side then. Otherwise, uh, there's two of us. Oh. Too many of us on an angle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm inside your agent. There's plenty of room in here. <laughs> Short people in front. Short in front, tall in the back. And in between, yeah. in between. The meat goes in the middle. Right. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, Mr. Uh, photographer, are you ready? Frame. Yeah. You're not in frame. Come and get in frame. If you want to join the picture. About here on the about we'll here on the shoulder. We'll Photoshop him in if we have to. <laughs> 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 Very well. On the count of three, what are we saying? Nom nom. There's a person. Wait, who's coming? Yes, nom nom. <laughs> There's a person over there. Yeah. yeah. Another yeah. lurker's down here. here. Who the fuck? I have a I have a lurker. I see him. Oh, Fliat. Zima's getting him. Kizzy monster. Wow. Immediately resulting to violence. Screw it. How have you not resulted to violence with us then? It doesn't look like they're joining us. Very well. Uh, on the just roaming around. around. I think I'm gonna be on the map. Eh, we can be shy. Send them to the My deepest pits of hell. Uh, Ethan, are you still ready? I am ready. Oh, I'm now falling. On the count of three. Oh, uh, oh, nom, nom, so nom, 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 nom. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Two, three. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, Delicious salad. Salad. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll give you a couple of minutes to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and then. Bacon. Bye. Please, we can die. Another death. And then I will open what a portal to you. Fuck, that was such a visceral scream. Who died? <laughs> <laughs> they got pulled through the fucking floor. <laughs> they went to oh, real God. hell. So, uh. Grants, I'm coming! Earlier for a photo location was the area where Literally we're like half of the people from. here. <laughs> 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 That's a colostomy on no, this fucking gun. Or even colostomy gun goes like... I wanna work on the game tonight, I'm not gonna have a lot of time. <laughs> Alright, I only came up with some electrical wires. Smooth. What did you think was gonna happen if you were just gonna dive into the clouds without preparation?